Welcome to Epitome Training. This video is going to cover adding scheduled calls. We did talk about this during the Dialed Alerts video where we used the scheduled call to build a bridge between a menu and a call group to play a page after 911 was dialed. We're going to be using it similarly here, but what we're going to do is create a school bell and then we're going to create an announced call which can be used in a variety of applications, a retail application, perhaps a car dealership. And what it will do is it'll play an announced call over a group of phones or a paging speaker, letting you know that there's a call in queue for a particular uh, app, for a particular uh, department or what have you at any type of business. So it can be used for a variety of applications. We'll talk about that more when we get there. First things first, we go to our wiki. We're going to create... And app, we're going to create a school bell here. So here, this is a, a licensed feature. So you're going to add your license in your PBX setup slash services menu. And then to enable it, we're going to follow step by step. From the PBX setup services page, we're going to locate the schedule calling section. We're going to change the drop down to enabled. We're going to click the button to save changes and we're going to click and apply the changes. So you see how important it is to follow the steps. If you miss this first section here and you just go down here and start adding your schedule call and you miss that, they're not going to work. So very important to follow the steps in the wiki. So we're going to go here to the system, our demo system, PBX setup, services page. And then we're going to scroll down to where we see schedule calling, which will be in here once you uh, put your license in. You're going to enable it. You're going to save your changes, and then you're going to apply your changes here. Then you'll be able to go to your destinations and go to your schedule calls, and we're going to create a school bell. So I'm going to add a schedule call here. I'm going to call it, um, how about schools out? It'll be the, the afternoon bell. I'm not going to put a start and time and end time in here. Um, if it's be, because of what I want this to be is an infinite schedule, so I want it to start when I save it, and I just want it never to end. Uh, it'll be a permanent schedule call. If you need to have it start and end at a certain time, you simply pick the the date and time here, and this you can have it start at a certain time and stop at a certain time. That's what that is. Then you can uh, select your recurrence. I'm going to make it daily. And then I'm going to pick the time that I want, which is going to be 3 p.m. Uh, I'm going to put that in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I can go ahead and enable it. And I'm going to submit this. And I'll show you why I'm going to do this. Um, this is going to go ahead and add this schedule call in here. But what it does is it allows me to go back in and a, one more populated um, field here pops up where I can select if it's every day, every one or two days, or I can select if it's every weekday. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just do every weekday, execute time at three o'clock. Now what we need to have is a menu with that tone recorded in it as a prompt, and then we want to have the group of phones or wherever, whatever we want to be paged with the school bell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go over to menus and find the menu that we have created for the school bell that plays that that tone. And right here we have it. It's 3232. That's our menu. So I can go back now and also look at my groups and find out what group I want it to page. Uh, in this case, we're just going to make it, uh, how about sales? You can make any group you want, any amount, uh, or you know what, in fact, we can just go ahead and use the uh, a multicast paging group. If you're going to have a school bell, that would probably be a better idea. You could just use a regular group. You could create 1,000 and have all your phones in it or, or what have you. But if you're going to have a lot of phones, you're better off using your multicast paging group creating that group, giving it a multicast address, assign a number to it, and then here we'll have the school bell, the amount of uh, the phones that we have in here. We can go ahead and take a look at the actual school bell itself, and we can take a look and see what's in there. You can see we have all these extensions in here. 
So that's going to be 411, and we're going to connect it to 3232. So very simple. We go over here to back to the schedule call. We're going to go in here and we're going to edit it. We're going to put 3232 and connect to 411. In this first call first menu, you all, or call first, you're always going to want to put your menu in there and then to connect the first call to 411. Then you want to pick a dialing permission of any extension so that it can actually dial the call. And then make sure it's enabled. Submit. And you'll want to apply your changes. And that's it. Your scheduled call schools out every day at 3 p.m. It will play this bell from the menu 3232 over a multicast paging group 411. So very easy to set up there. The next thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do a retail application. Uh, a lot of companies now uh, don't have the ability to have somebody answering the phones and making pages so that uh, they can announce that there's a call for a particular department or group. Um, so what this scheduled call will do is kind of act as a virtual um, receptionist, you could say. And what it, you can do is have a scheduled call come from a menu. Uh, perhaps in this case, we'll just do dial one for plumbing, we'll call it. And what it's going to do is the menu is going to play a particular prompt that you have recorded. Uh, it'll say plumbing, you have a call in queue, and then the phones are going to ring to whatever I have it selected to. Now you can see that this is going to be a very nice application that can have a variety of uses depending on what type of business you have. But it's very nice that you're going to be able to have an actual page go over your phones to let you know that there's a call going into this queue and then you can ring any group of phones that you want so that they can pick it up. So what we're going to do here is I already have this, this retail call schedule created. You're gonna, you would add it just like you add any other scheduled call. I just happen to call it retail here. We could call it plumbing or whatever you want to call it. Again, here we're not going to use date and time because we don't want it to automatically make this call and we don't want any reoccurrences chosen here. These are just going to remain blank. There's not going to be an execute time either. So on 2005, we have a menu and then we have 1,000 as a group of phones. 2005, if we go over here and look in our menu, 2005 is retail. It could be plumbing, whatever you want. It's going to have that announcement in there. So what happens is I go to my menu, my main menu, somebody calls in, and I'm going to have them dial 1 for plumbing. So here I have a scheduled call selected. My retail is in there because I have it set up to dial out in my schedule calls. And when the person dials one here, it's going to go to the schedule call retail. Then once that activates this schedule call, it's going to go to this particular menu, play the prompt, plumbing, you have a call in queue. And then it's going to, 1,000 is what, I, what group I chose. And if you go back over to here in your groups, 1,000 is simply the sales group. So it could be whatever you want, plumbing. If it's a car dealership, it might be parts or what have you. So in this case, I've got 1,000 selected in there. Then what makes this schedule call different is its ability to make a second call. So I, I have my dialing permissions in here as I did with the other one so that they can make this call. But then I did this can dial and I checked this so that the scheduled call that I've created here can make a second call, a next destination. This also requires that you come up with a unique trigger event dialed number. So just come up with a, a number here that's unique not being used in the system. Then my next destination is going to be ring groups and it's 1000. So what I've done is I have the person calling in through the auto attendant. It plays and says dial one for plumbing. They press one 
it goes over to the schedule call, connects to 2005, which has my plumbing message in it, goes ahead and pages my group of phones and plays that message over it, plumbing, you have a call uh, in queue, and then it goes and activates this second next destination, and it actually sends the call to that ring group. Then you can do whatever you want with it. You can uh, funnel that call back into the schedule call to make another announcement and then go back to the group again, or you could make it go to voicemail or supervisor's desk or what have you. So you have, it's very powerful here. Also here, the security pin, you can actually activate a scheduled call by a trigger uh, dialed event. So 3006, you could actually dial that and it would actually activate this scheduled call. You can also put a security pin number in there so uh, where this might come in handy, maybe at a school where you might want a teacher to be able to dial a quick code uh, that may signal page a, a principal or a, a unique group of phones that says they need help in a classroom. Maybe they just have a, a child that's being unruly or something like that, and they just need help. So that would be a, an application that you can use there. Make sure it's enabled and submit. So that's all there is to it for scheduled calls, really. This is a very powerful application because you can make it do a lot of different things. And a lot of different companies can utilize this uh, particular feature to make this system do whatever you want. It, it can a answer calls, transfer calls, make pages for you, let you know that you have calls in queue, and all without any person doing it. The system does it for you. Thank you very much for attending Epitome Training, and we'll see you next time.